All right. So just starting early, a little bit early just to get set up here. I want to do audio test, run a couple tests here. So give me run a couple tests here. Testing, testing. So give me run a couple tests here. Testing, testing. All right, good. So that's good. Turn it off on my computer. So we're going to see how much time I actually have. Let's get this chat up. And if we got enough time, we're going to open all of them up. What's interesting is this one has a sticker inside. I don't know. Always verified authentic. So we'll probably do this one first. If any is going to be... If any is a scam from eBay, it might be this one because I've never seen an X sticker on the inside. So no idea. But if there's any a scam on eBay, it's this one. <laughs> so we're going to open this one up first. Signature edition. If anyone has ever seen an X sticker in there before, it's got the other tape on the bottom there. If you guys can see, but the top, it's got that X. But there's the cat. Um, if we have time, we're going to open up these as well. This is a Web3. And this one is a 5S. But I am told that doesn't really matter. All right, let's double check the audio before before we begin. Before we begin. Testing, testing, one, two. Testing, testing. Before we begin. Testing, testing. All right, great. All right, guys, welcome, welcome. I know 99.99% .99 of everybody that is seeing this stream has no idea what vFriends is because on my review channel, um, I haven't reviewed any V friends. I pretty much review a lot of stuff that is found on Amazon since that is our main business. So V friends is awesome guys. As a lot of people put it, it is a mixture of Sesame street and Pokemon cards combined. And we have ripped five boxes so far. We've had really good luck on our five boxes and we're going to be ripping a couple the big one, we're going to make sure we rip. This one, we are ripping first because I've never seen any come with an X sticker on it. So, very curious about that. So, if any is a scam from eBay, it's probably going to be this one. And uh, we're going to jump right to that. So, yeah, this is how they just come in. And pretty cool boxes. At first, I was unsure, but then I'm like, you know what? They're pretty unique, so pretty happy about that. All right, let's see. So X is on here. It does have the tape underneath it. So for those who aren't familiar, uh, these came with tape on the bottom and tape on the top. So I am very curious. This might make it a little harder to pull out. Oh, okay. That was easy and again it is a common scam for people to find the hits in their packs and then repackage the boxes with non-hit packs so i'm very curious to see if uh this is one of them and we'll basically the only way to find out is when you open them so one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's 13 correct packs. And let's just jump right to it because we do have uh, something at 9 o'clock. So wish us luck. We've had really good luck. We've opened five boxes. No hit right away, but we got the turn tick. Conviction cockroach. Perspective pigeon. And the warm wolverine. Again, guys, if you don't know V Friends, which 
almost no one knows that it's on my channel um since we do reviews all right and no hit there but this is a nice card jolly jack is definitely in my top five favorite cards spiffy salmon i don't know if we have this one or not i'm not sure if we have this one or not we are trying to collect a full core set i'd love to collect a full rare set but i realize that's going to take me a very long time so no hit so far like i said if there's any box that is a scam box from ebay it's probably going to be this one but at least we're getting some really nice cards though Again, scam boxes, people have the hits and then they, oh, no way, no way. Okay, guys, so we need this card and I believe this is over a hundred dollars on eBay right now. Okay, um, yeah, I believe that's a rookie card. Let me double check here, guys. All right, so here we have our chart. Yep, that's a tier one card, guys. Tier one. So the tier one cards are highly sought after. So, okay, you know, we'll take that. Wow. In fact, we are going to penny sleeve and top load it right away. So you know what? If this is a scam box or not, <laughs> I'm already happy. I am already happy on that one because we need that. And on eBay, I've seen it go for a hundred plus. All right. And I thought this was going to be a fun night and we didn't even get to the cat yet. Chipmunk. The tiger. That's nice. We actually uh, just got bought this one. I think it's a PSA eight from eBay from series one for our collection. Well, there's a hit. Okay, that's awesome. So we definitely got a hit. Number 459 of 500. The Urchin. Nice. Bad Intentions. So for those who are wondering, uh, if you guys are on twitter aka x um i was sent this by shout out to soggy waffles he gave me this on uh google documents it is amazing so if anyone needs it but here's the tier one cards the most chase ones at the very top here and as you can see we have the lucky black cat but we still need all of those others except now we got the ninja which is pretty awesome We'll top load that once we're done here. So again, if I have time, we will uh, do more. Well, we're definitely doing the black cat. Uh, I think we actually need this one. The trusting. What is that? Tarantula. All right. Nice. So I think we definitely need that one. Iguana. This was actually our first. Uh, oh, that one's new as well. This one was our first Squishermello. So uh, V Friend Squishermello was the iguana that we picked up. You know, already we got a hit in the Ninja. So already we're off to such a lucky start. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to stream tonight because I have a good feeling. Look at that. Also a Gary B. That's another chase for a lot of people. Oh, wait, we double pulled. Legit Llama. Positive porcupine, shrewd sheep, shrewd sheep. Say that 10 times really fast in a row. <laughs> so far, so good. Capable caterpillar. Oh, that the Impala, this one's new. Let's go. 
So I will be selling um, not my doubles, but quadruples on whatnot probably in a couple months once I have enough built up. And you guys can find me on whatnot under Pokey Scoot. That's P O K E S C O O T, all one word. Oh, we got another hit. So this was not a scam box. So if any was going to be a scam box, it was going to be this one. Nice. This is awesome, guys. So far, we have not hit a scam box, but you know, the night is young. So there's another rare, reliable rat, 331 of 500. This is something I wish Pokemon would have done. Is done a lot of one of ones or one of 500s or what? I mean, even if they did one of a thousand or something, it would have been much cooler. But for those of you who don't know, Pokemon has been an addiction of mine for the past couple years. No chance. Three hits, plus the ninja. Okay. If that's, a, if that's an epic, I'm going to be so happy. Okay, guys. Come on. All right, what do we got? Oh, nice. It's a very rare. Number 60 of 100. Nice. Wow, what a box. Two rares, a very rare a ninja and we got three packs left oh my word and these packs i mean honestly these packs look resealed if, if i was if i was a, a guesser but then again i have noticed uh v friends packs are definitely different than pokemon that's a cute one hey michelle it is so much fun, especially to open. So this card is running over a hundred dollars on eBay. Um, these these are about the rares. Let's see. I don't even know if I have it in view. So let's move this over here. That's about twenty-five to thirty dollars. Twenty-five to thirty dollars. That's about fifty to a hundred. Depends on what someone's willing to pay. So, so far we're doing very well with two packs left. I just figured I'd get on here and uh, open some more because it's kind of an addiction here. Because I love it. I love opening these packs. And I'm trying to collect the entire set. And everyone always tells me how I have such luck because... With all this stuff. Okay. Just Jackal. I think that might be a new one. And it's like everyone says. The, these cards. Oh the Cougar. I'm, might be a new one. These cards are a mixture of. Sesame Street and Pokemon. <laughs> Alright guys. So that one is done. It is after 8 o'clock now. And I did say 8 o'clock is when we're opening the cat. So I think we will go ahead and do that. Since um, we said about it. Alright, so that's one box down. Not sure if we're doing all of them today. But we're definitely doing the cat like I had said. And here we go. So we're going to set that off. You know what? Let's actually top load them and everything a while. Adjust this camera angle. I know that... These cards, there's so many different cute ones. So, Michelle, this box here, uh, people are asking $500 and higher for on eBay. Because this is a lucky edition. Now, I'm told it doesn't matter if it's lucky edition or any other edition. There's the same cards inside as far as randomness. But... People love the little cat logo because that is a chase for most people. So yeah, these boxes are very, uh, they're expensive compared to like Pokemon. Um, but hey, 
we're not in for the short term. We're in for the long term. And it's fun. It is fun. So once we top load these. So, Michelle, there's actually Series 1. I don't have any down here, but Series 1. So, a streamer is opening up a Series 1 box. The boxes run anywhere from $6,000 and higher. So, we got two spots, and it's like $600 for one spot. So, we got $1,200 plus in two spots coming up at 9 o'clock from another streamer. Some say crazy. I say if you can afford to do what you love and what you enjoy and you work hard, then you might as well because life is short as long as you're smart. And that ends my wisdom for the, that 15 seconds. <laughs> Michelle, you're probably thinking $1,200 just for a spot. So basically what a spot means is um, I get a chance. Well, I, I get two spots in a booster box break. So it'd be like me opening this box. There's 13 cards in charging people. And I open a random pack for that person and they get to keep that. Except series one is the first uh, trading cards that V friends came out with. If that makes any sense. If I said that right. So we're going to keep this off to the side. Because that's what we got for the first box. Here's the second box. All right, this is the cat. This is what everybody dreams of. All right, so we got another card. We like to keep those. This is it, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's thirteen. Let's go. Let's see if we can get lucky with the lucky black cat. This will be my sixth box I've ever opened. Got the crab, cockroach, the cobra, the jaguar. This is a kind of cool card. Uh, what's crazy, Michelle, is... So the guys that I'm getting on uh, the stream when I have the spots in... They're actually the one guys from Lancaster, which is crazy. S small world. The hamster. This might be a new one. This one I just paid $3 on eBay for. <laughs> so now we got that. Likeable leopard. That's a cool one. Oh, that's a new one as well. I love getting new cards. So yeah, I'll probably be gaming at 930. If you're going to game tonight, which... Oh, this is new as well. The Kind Cuda. The Puma. That might be new. The Prana. That could be new. And that one might be new. Okay, yeah, I'll send the link. Um, they're a lot... They are high energy, which is awesome. I love it. Like, even if you're not a V Friends fan, it's, it's they're fun to watch. So, Protective Panther, Bobcat, little Anaconda, which is, here's a fun thing. You can see a little heart with its tongue, and also the five. So, five is Gary's favorite um, number. So, he kind of added it. Like, in this guy, you can see the five in there. He added his uh, fave number, which I think is just brilliant. Oh, we got a hit. Let's go. The tuna. The coyote. Oh, nice. That's a new rare. Number 12 of 500. So the common uh, thought is, so there's only 500 of these cards made for series two of this character. And the lower the first number, the more collectible it is because a lot of guys like to collect like number one through four or one through 10, one through 15. 
So that's awesome that it's a number 12. The best card, well, the best thing that we would be lucky on hitting is green epics. Of course, I believe there's like one of ones and some other stuff. Very, very rare to get. Some guys that I know have opened 30 boxes without pulling any of them. So we're not expecting any of that, but crazier things have happened. Panda. Oh, this one might be no. The mink's pretty cute. What's crazy, Michelle? Oh, this is no. The polished poodle. What's crazy is Twitter, aka X, is really big on uh, V Friends. So that's like a whole community on itself. Polar bear might be no. Rational rattlesnake, I think we got. What's up, Miami Mike? Welcome. Welcome, Miami Mike. So we opened one box already, Mike, and this is what we got. We got the ninja. We got the reliable rat. We got the unwavering urchin. And we got the very rare pelican. So that was from um, just a random box. We're doing the black cat right now. And we per pulled the uh, like a sponge rare so far. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Our dreams come true and we actually get a cat from a cat box because that would just be, that would be awesome. Oh yeah, definitely, Michelle. It would definitely grow. You know, that's the thing about Gary. Oh, this is a chase for a lot of people. Um, Gary's not one of those guys that believes in get quick rich things or things happen like instantly, like... You instantly just build a brand. You instantly make something. And I like that because that's me. I don't care if these cards stay a dollar a card for 20 years. Because to me, I can wait. I, <laughs> Which is what Optimistic Otter and we pull. <laughs> that's, a, that's a fitting card. So I believe in Gary's vision with the future. Yes, and look at that. There's our... One of our characters in our top three favorite character. The adaptable alien. Let's go. See, we're having a hyped, hyped uh, stream here. Anchovy. Wallaby. Two packs left for the black cat. And we got time, so we're at least going to open up another box. Because why not? Oh, we got another hit. That's awesome. Let's go. The barb, that's a chase for a lot of people. The civet. Civet, is it civet? Civet. Nice. Decisive duck. Number 106 of 500. So like $25, $30 card. Depends on if you can get someone who wants it. Last pack magic. Oh, yeah. And that's the thing of what Gary said. Gary said something that is so profound and true that in all sectors of stuff, when you're collecting like trading cards, 99% of trading cards or 98% of trading cards don't have any value, but there's that 1% that might be a new one. Oh, this might be a new one. I know that duck to the moon Mercat. I'm surprised this is an underrated card. Because that to the moon uh, is a very big crypto term that a lot of people just kind of forgot. You know, when uh, was it Dogecoin and those altcoins were like pumping, people would always say to the moon, to the moon. And now it's kind of died off. At, you know, all the crypto hype for those died off. I still didn't forget it. So, all right. So we got two hits. We could have been worse. We got a, two rares, which we'll sleeve up. And then, so the black cat didn't give us that uh, magic. But you know what? That's okay. We're not done yet. 
keep these boxes for the future just as a collector item. I think we're going to do the pink box next. So far, I'm very happy with what we've gotten from, we'll keep these separate from two boxes. I have heard some guys only getting one rare. I have heard also some guys getting no rares, but that's kind of kind of debatable. Some people say if you don't get a single rare in a box, it's most likely a scam box. Um, the duck. Let me see if I actually have that one real quick. So let's see. The duck, the duck. All right, looks like we don't have the duck, so we're going to be keeping it for our personal collection. But uh, if we do get another duck, we will be selling on whatnot in the future. So if we do happen to get another duck, or if we get another duck from here, we will. Because I'm trying to get two sets of the core sets, and then one set of rare and very rare, which we all know that's going to be... I mean, to get every very rare or rare card is going to be fun. That's going to be a very long-term uh, goal. All right, guys. So this is the pink box. There's one thing about these boxes. They're, uh, I love, I love how they did it. So I love the idea behind the pink, like all these boxes, but they got, a, they got some flaws to them. All right, here we go. Well, that one has got a bent corner, but we'll keep it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Okay. I think we miscounted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Good. I was like, oh, great. Is this a scam box? All right, let's get to it. Big Game Bandicoot. So this is our number seven. So seven boxes we've opened. I like this card. This guy's in my top 10. Crocodile's pretty cute. Oh, actually these might be new. We might need those. These are currently not on Amazon. So yeah, they're not on Amazon. Which kind of sucks because I was hoping to find them on Amazon so I could review them, make a make a little bit of money back reviewing them on Amazon. But yeah, they're on eBay, so you can get them all over eBay. Like Farm said, thanks Farm. <clears throat> Joyous jellyfish, the wise wasp. Graceful goldfish. That actually might be a new one. Bombastic baboon. So if you guys missed it, the first box, we pulled the ninja, which we didn't have. And if you guys know, you know. We pulled reliable rat rare, the unwavering urchin, and the very rare pelican from our first box. So that bo first one was awesome. The second box, we got these guys. And this is our third box of the night. And I believe we will, we should have time to do our fourth box. And we got a hit in here. 259 of 500, the chameleon. That may be a new one. 
micro or uh, macro micro i actually like that one i think that's a cool card you know i really want like a special card um but i know i can't uh I can't complain because my second box, I pulled the very, 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 very lucky black cat core card. So I really can't complain at all. Um, cause there's guys that have told me they've opened 25, 35 boxes without pulling it. And I'm sure there's more guys out there that have opened a lot more without pulling it. So I guess I I can go for a long time without pulling any crazy cards. But, hey, we still have hope. And here we go. We got another card, and it is the Seahorse. A rare 316 of 500. So we at least got two rares. We'll take that. We will take it. And so far we haven't we haven't been scammed. We haven't got a scam box yet, which our time's coming. We actually have nine more booster boxes. I'm I call them booster boxes it, on their way. So we have nine more coming. Oh, that one might be a new one. So yeah, nine more on their way. Oh, another hit. Nor okay, so in the past, normally when I accept that one, but normally when I get two rares, I either get a very rare or an epic. Oh, okay, so three rares. Well, that's actually the first time we've gotten three rares, the camel, and that's number 170 of 500. We'll take that, three rares. All right. So far, it's been a good night. It has definitely been a good night. We are just looking for... Now, when it comes to, like, one of ones and signed autograph ones, I don't... That's out of my knowledge range. Like, I don't know if you can... Oh, this one might be nil. I don't know if you can pull one of ones and, like sign cards in these or not so if anyone knows yeah so i'll definitely i might keep one or two sealed but i'm definitely going to be streaming um more so i i have a bad habit of not posting on x when i'm streaming but i, I definitely need to do that oh, this one might be nil the pea salad oh that one's definitely nil I love that red that pops. The Oak Monster, yes! Is that a tier one card? Is that a tier one? Let me let me check, guys. I feel like that is, but I could be wrong. Uh okay. Oh, the motivated monster is the tier one. So that's the oak monster. Oh, that's a tier two card though. Nice. So, tier two. Okay, we'll take that. All right, so not bad. Three rares. T T2 card. Nice. So, we're going to sleeve these three rares up and open up our last box. But, yeah, I'll be streaming more uh, box openings. In fact, Farm, I'm not sure if you follow To The Moon cards. But they're doing a stream tonight with a classic series one booster box and uh, we have two spots in it so we're gonna have two spots in that that's at 9 p.m eastern time which is about 40 45 give or take minutes from now which i'm, I'm sure you are most people are well any one of one like can you get one of one cards from these packs or sign cards. All I know, my knowledge basically ends after the epics. So I know you can get the rare, very rare and epic cards. But after that, I have no idea what else is in these packs. 
I uh, just started collecting at the end of November 2023. So I am late to the game. But I, I definitely have been going a little hard the last couple months. Even though I'm late to the game. All right. We're getting some decent hits here. Last but not least, the orange 5S edition. Okay, guys, wish us luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, thirteen. Let's do this. The dedicated dragonfly. That is so cute. Oh, that is awesome, farm. That is good to know. This one might be a new card, the fairy. Yeah, that is definitely good to know. That each, every character has a one of one spec and each has a one of one signed. Imagine. Imagine on our, uh, what do we do? Four tonight. So this is our ninth box. Eight or ninth box. That would be awesome if we could just pull one of them. And the thing about me is I don't sell stuff like that. <laughs> so if I get stuff like that, it would stay in my personal collection. Because I am, well, I have probably 2,000, 3,000 Pokemon cards. Before this, I was a huge Pokemon collector. Gary B, that's a chase. It does have a little bent in the corner there. Nice binder card for someone. Yeah, so before I got into this, I have... Over $50,000 in Pokemon cards. Let's just put it that way. And that's, uh, not, uh, that's probably 70% of everything I have. So tonight will be my first, uh, series one break. I have purchased, so I purchased the adaptable alien series one card from, uh, fanatics live. So V friends live when they were on fanatics. And then I had purchased some Series 1 graded cards on eBay. But tonight would be my first break. So my first time buying a spot and having any pulled for me live. So I'm really excited about that. So I really don't know what to expect. I mean, I've only watched... I think... I think... The full official break, I think I've only watched the Fanatic once of breaking a original box. So I have a lot to learn about the Series 1 cards. And I, I did just get um, a week or two ago an NFT, Series 2 NFT. That was fun trying to hoop around, like making all the accounts and stuff. This one might be a new one. The hammerhead, I'm not sure. Oh, look, the oak monster again. Wow. Well, that's good because we're trying to go for two full sets. Thank you, Farm. I appreciate it. I really do. No hit so far. Oh, boy. No hit so far. Are we... Oh, this, this one's new. Nice. Are we going to end this with no hits? No hit box? So, Farm, have you heard? I've been told if you get a no hit box, that means it's a scam eBay box. 
I don't know if that's true or not, but if you get no, like no rare card, uh, then it's at least one rare card. It's a scam box, but I don't know. Um, you know, a lot of people say a lot of things so far. No hit though. And so far we haven't had any scam boxes. <laughs> If that's even a, you know, what the word on the street is. All right, come on. No hit. Oh, we got two packs left. All right. This may be our first box of, uh, no hits. That's all right. We're going to be positive. There's going to be a hit in here. There's a hit. Oh, there is a hit. Oh, and speaking of my Series 2 NFT, this is what I got. The uh, Cynical Cat. Four, oh, nice. We don't have that one either. That's 490 of 500. All right. We'll take, we'll take that hit. Can we, can we have Last Pack Magic? Last Pack Magic? Let's go. Oh, there is last pack magic. Okay. I feel, I feel way better now. So the grateful gar, well, that's a new rare for us as well. Nice. Oh, and that's a new one. The hermit hermit crab. Nice. Okay. Not too bad. Okay. That is good to know. Yeah, and that, that's one thing, because I get all these from eBay, because it's pretty much all I really know. I try, and, you know, if there's a listing that doesn't show the packaging, like, I try and get them to show me down in so I can look at the tape as good as I can before I buy something. And so far, out of these nine boxes, we've gotten lucky on eBay. No scam, but I'm sure our time is coming. I mean... But I got to say, though, you know, as a scammer, like if if I was a scammer, I would think to myself, is it worth it? Because, you know, if you weigh a pack, what if you get what if there's a tier one card in there? You know, since those tier one cards are going for a decent amount of money, it's like, is it really? I But I guess people just scam no matter what. So box number four, we got these guys. Box number three, we got these guys. Box number two, we got three. And box number one, which was our best, I believe, we got two rares, the very rare, but then the ninja, which is, which is a card that we desperately needed. So now we have two tier one cards. We got the very lucky black cat from a box and the ninja. And of course, we can't forget all of the ball cards that we need to go through to see what we need for our set and just to show you guys because i love showing it anytime i can all right let me set this off to the side guys i don't want to damage any of the cards i may or may not be a little picky when it comes to cards trying to be careful with them <laughs> but yeah i probably shouldn't say my goal my goal though is to buy up all of the rare adaptable alien cards but some people are charging 280 to 750 dollars on ebay for the rare adaptable alien i'm i'm not at that position to be buying those <laughs> but i did buy I think three or four so far out of 500. So we got a little ways to go, but adaptable alien is in my top three favorite cards. All right. So this is my core binder. I have tons of cards to go through to add kind of how I've been doing. This is my favorites first. So cards that I really like more than uh, the rest I put in the first binder. 
this over here. I know, I know. <laughs> There's a lot of people out there that are just holding. So of course, our dream, the very, the very, 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 very lucky black cat. And these are all on my top favorites. So my top three favorite is the black cat, the adaptable alien, and the skilled skeleton, for sure. So none of these are duplicates. These are all just in my set. Let me see if I can change the angle of this. There we go. I believe we have like 105 cards completed so far. And we have probably 300 cards to go through to see if we need them. But. And then we have our. Oh, this one empty. Then we got our very rares. I haven't bought any, so these are all ones I've pulled. So I don't got many of them. And let's see, what is this binder? Oh, these are our epics. I have not bought any epics as well. So these are just all ones I pulled. The number one of 25, the clown. Number 15 of the adaptable alien. And number three of the prey mantis. I think that's pretty cool. If you guys can't tell, I love binders. Um, I have over, so these are top loader binders. I have over 35 binders for Pokemon and stuff. Uh, these are the rare cards that I have. So that is page number one. I did buy a lot on eBay. Pretty much if I could get them for 25, 25 to $30 or less, and I don't have it, I try and snipe it up. So I do have a decent amount of rare cards. But anyway. What's up, Tyler? You are late to the game. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just wrapping it up. We got some decent hits today. Thank you, Farm. But as you guys can see over here, booster boxes of Pokemon. One, two, three, four. So there's eight booster boxes. Again, I was really big into Pokemon. So I pulled some decent cards. Let's see. So basically, these are the best cards that I pulled tonight. We got the Ninja, which is running over $100 on eBay. A very rare card. Uh, from what I've seen, very rares can run anywhere from $45 to, you know, hundreds of dollars. The Urchin, I've seen these run basically $24, $25, you know, up to over $100. Reliable Rat, so the rares, you know, $25 to over $100, $25 to over $100, $25, and so forth. So you get the idea, $25 to over $100 for all these. But of course, m values don't mean anything to me since I'm a collector. Um, so yeah, I am. I am on Discord in the V Friends community. So I have not checked there yet. Yeah, so this is series two, if that's what you're asking, Tyler. This is series two. So these are all part of series two, which correct me if I'm wrong form came out in 2022. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong. I believe, I believe all series two NFT holders got sent these boxes. If, if that's correct. And there was like 40 or 55,000 or 45,000 or something like that, that were sent out. So being a Series 2 NFT holder, but yeah, so at 9 o'clock is when To The Moon card drops their stream, and I cannot wait. I am so excited. It's better than Christmas. Hey, don't tell my wife that. <laughs> no, I, I love what my wife got me, but Series 1 cards, come on. That's pretty hard to beat. <laughs> 
Okay, that's what I thought. So I wonder if that's if that's how they're going to continue to do it. Like, whenever they come out with Series t- uh, 3, and rumor has it, and you know how people love to spread rumors, but I'm told Series 3, whenever it comes out, is going to be full art cards. So, like, Pokemon have full arts. I'm told that's what Series 3 might be for V Friends. But either way, whatever comes out, I'm going to be really excited. I mean, I'm going to be broke, but, you know, that's kind of the game when you collect anything, <laughs> right? <laughs> when you collect anything, you can just pretty much kiss your money goodbye. Um, <laughs> unless you're smart. <laughs> unless you only get... Yeah, so... Yeah, background. So on Pokemon, um, I can show you guys some cards here. Pokemon, you can see like the the background is like really unique and different. Uh, let's see, you can see like the background on there, um, different backgrounds. So instead of just the Pokemon, you got like scenery going on on c- certain ones. I yeah. So that's what I'm told. Something similar to like that. Maybe not the shine, but something similar is kind of what I'm hearing um, from everyone. But of course, everybody has their own opinion. So if that's true or not, I have no idea. But let me show you guys some cards I, I need to go through. So you guys can see here. These are series um, two cards, the core cards. So I need to go through these to see if I need any for my collection. I know, wouldn't that be dope? But that's what I'm hearing. So, I th- I think that would be really awesome. Especially if they have, like, the shine to them. I mean, you can, you know, see how these have the shine to them. So, I wouldn't see why not. But, something like this would just be really cool. Just, like, in a scenery. Because if you... And the reason behind why people think it's going to be something like this... Is because Series 2 NFTs, you got the backgrounds. So a lot of people are like, oh, Gary's giving us a hint and all that fun stuff. And if he is or isn't, it's so much fun. And knowing Gary, who knows what's going through Gary's mind uh, on his future plans. That's one thing I like about him. You know, you don't exactly know, you know, what he's going to do, how he's going to do it. And that makes it so exciting. Oh, we got to keep this one out. Do it, Tyler. I mean, hey, you see, that's the thing about Gary. Gary does read his uh, messages. You shoot him, you know, you say, hey, Gary, send me some stuff. I'll do a, I'll show it on whatnot. You know, I'll show people. I'll sell it on whatnot. Get the hype up in the Pokemon community. And you know what? I wouldn't be shocked if he would reach out to you and be like, all right, Tyler. Exactly. You know, what's the worst? What's the worst that's going to happen? He's going to ignore you. Well, welcome to the 21st century. <laughs> you know, um, Gary already knows I, I, I buy too much. So I'm going to be on whatnot as well in a couple months selling my quadruples because I do want to make at least two sets. So, Okay. I'm going to end this because in about 15 minutes or so, unless they start early, um, to the moon is going to be to the moon cards is going to be ripping a series one box. In fact, he's actually doing two series one boxes. Uh, someone's opening a box personally for their own personal collection, which is a dream of mine. I really want to own a series one box, but maybe I need to stop spending on series two for that. Um, and then of course the rips, that I'm going to be in, which I got two spots. Gary has a spot. It's going to be sick. So I will see you guys on To The Moon cards. If you don't have the link, um, send me a message on X, aka Twitter, and I will try and get the link. You know what, Farm? I, got, I just have a f- good feeling. I got a good feeling. You know, we had a good night with opening these four boxes. We got a ninja. We got so many cards we didn't have. We got all these different rares and stuff. I, You know what? I got a good feeling. Let's just hope that good... Fe- well, okay. I'm going to be a little greedy here. Let's just hope that good feeling is for me, my pools. 
<laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. I hope everybody gets what they want. <laughs> I can't be that greedy. I, can I be? Can I say I hope I I get the best cards? Or is that just is that a little too uh, prideful? Is that a is that a little too prideful saying that? I hope I get the best ones. <laughs> I hope we all get the best ones. How about that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh man. Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all over the place. Um, yeah. My main account that I do V friends stuff or going to be doing V friends is called pokey scoot on YouTube. Uh, I'm only doing this on my main account because my other accounts too small that we can't live stream yet, but anyway, see you guys next time. Yeah. Michelle, I'll send you the link as well. If anyone else wants the link, y'all know where to find me. I'm pretty much everywhere. Thanks for watching, guys.